First of all, allow me to congratulate Juan Down Styles on his impressive performance at Insurrection. Now you see, although he didn't win the title in the finals, he did manage to win the semi-finals where he pinned me, and I'm not afraid to admit that he was the better man on the night. And Loudon Styles made it to the finals, no less, where he took j Dog to the limit. Now, Loudon is a man who doesn't have any prior training, and j Dog a man who's been wrestling for eight years, or however long he's reported to be wrestling for. So, quite frankly, that was an impressive performance, and I applaud the man. But that was the past, and this is the present. And in the present, Stephen Sintag has found himself into the number one contendership match for the YGWA Championship. Now, do you know what that means? Wait, I'll tell you what it means. Because quite frankly, I doubt you guys can guess it. See, I'm not a man who likes to put himself out there and say I'm the best man there ever was, is, or ever will be. But trust me, I've got these binoculars for a reason, because I can see into the future. I can see a future where Steven Syntax is the YGWA champion, having won this fatal four-way, saving YGWA from that ungrateful, egotistical freak known as j -Dub. In that future, Steven Syntax has replaced j -Dub in the YGWA equation, and when that happens, YGWA equals success. Which is going to happen, mind you, because I am going to win this, I'm going to beat j Dub, become YGWA champion, and take YGWA to where it needs to be. That is just a forewarning to you, j Dub, and to Chris O. Cut. Cut. Girl. And, wait, who's the last guy again? Probably no one important. Oh yeah, the guy who reads Socrates. So, that's been your warning, guys. Steven Syntax is here, and he's here to win, and he is going to. So, I'm going to go prepare for my matchup. I'll see you later with the title. Why was his head behind his back? Why, Why was his hand behind his back? That's all I want to know. Why was your hand behind your back, Steven Sintag? I just don't understand how it's a state of saying kick that comes to back in it. I don't get that either. You can't lose until you die. You can't lose until you die. Maybe they are magical binoculars. But anyways, here comes D'Angelo De Niro. Oh shit, I mean Steven Sintag. You're not the boat. But he has sunglasses and a, and a, and a mask. There are no crosses on those sunglasses. The cuts hurt. The cuts scar. The cuts never go away. contender for the MBW Championship, I will be the number one contender for the YGWA Young Guns Wrestling Association Championship, because I am destined to be great. Not only will I win the MBW Championship, I will win the YGWA Championship. Nobody can stop me. Not J Dub, not Loudon, not Extreme Dan, not Syntac, none of you. Because you scrubs are about to see destiny in action. His name is Alberto Del Cut. But you, you already knew that. The man with no fat and the nipples. Of a god! And a man who apparently has destiny on his side. A 
I believe. I believe someone else that uh, has destiny on his side is Mr. Money in the Bank right now. Just saying. Then you're Brian. No. Then you're Brian. He wants to join us because he doesn't. I will not refuse to call him Daniel Bryan. It's Brian Danielson, goddammit. I stay calling the better team and Daniel's podcast. But here comes Cuts in this fatal four-way matchup. Will he become the new number one contender? Quite, on- Quite honestly, my bet's Hello, on Chris. And gentlemen. I am Johnny Fortune. And I would like to say to all of you, I am sorry. I am sorry for being a jackass. Because you people don't deserve it. You turn on the, the YouTube and you're... You're clicking on my video, thinking, hmm, this guy may do a good job. I want to see what's happening. Then I call all of you assholes, and I treat other people like crap. And that's just wrong. I was raised better than that. I was only raised better than that. I act better than that. I'm going to tell you why I said those things, and, I'm act- and I've acted like a cocky asshole. It's because I want to impress people. I know that sounds weird, but when you go somewhere new, you want to impress people. And if you come off as cocky, confident, and if you come off getting all the bitches, that's a great thing. And people may respect you. But that's not what happened. I got Steven Syntax to disrespect me. Calling me nothing. Now, I've been doing a lot of thinking. And I agree with him. I'm nothing. I am nothing. But there's a catch to that. Everyone here is nothing. Not a single person is something. Not Fatal Forward tonight. No one has done anything. The only person in this company who has done something so they're not a nothing is J-Dub. And I admit, he won fair and square. So you know what? Good for you, J-Dub. Good for you. Gave you a round of applause. You know why? Because you're a great man. Now, I'm going to go in that ring tonight, in that fatal four-way. I don't expect myself to win. But I will damn sure put on a great show. I don't lie about putting on a great show. I may lie about being the best. Because I'm not. I'm not the best here. But hey, if by some odd act of God... I'm able to win, and better for me. I'm Johnny Fortune. I'm the California lover. I'm the cult of sexuality. And that's how I get my bitches. Thank you, and good night. The cult of sexuality? What the fuck? fuck? What the fuck is this shit song? Those are... You're about 13 years too old, Johnny Fortune. You know this is your... You know this is your new favorite song. This is not my new favorite song. It's like what a punch table in the mouth. It's a hipster jackass. What kind of jackass wear fainting and dancing to the ring? And, oh, oh, he's wearing basketball shorts too. Got it on that. Oh, and, and they can. At he, least. I hope you noticed he had a damn pinky ring. What at the least hell? She can cut a great promo. That was a shit promo. 
Hello YGWA locker room and of course the YGWA fans, it's me, Grosso. Now I have been reading a load of your comments and listening to your words on how I can improve in YGWA. And the first issue you had with me was my scrawniness. And I have bought some weight and my friends have included me in their rock climbing club. So who knows, I may get there one day, just, just bear with me. And the next issue you had with me, how this has to do with my wrestling abilities, I have no idea, but hi, just to make you happy, was my face. And as quoted by someone who cannot be named, otherwise my video will be flagged, I was known as Pizza Face. And now, as you can see, the spots have vanished. And I have to thank Boots Skin Clear for that, for clearer, confident skin. But I'm not here to advertise cheap products. I am here, of course, to talk about tonight. But before I do, first off, congratulations to our new YGWA champ. Well done, Jay. Well done. Re that was an epic match. Hats off to you. But don't don't hold on to that title for too long because after tonight, I'll be coming for it. And well, let's just say you won't have that title much longer. What what am I talking about? Of course, I have mentioned it. I, Chriso, have qualified for the fatal four-way tonight against three other men, who I will now talk about. Now, the first man, he is fucking huge. He is that on me. I would be a fool not to fear him. He is known as Cuts. Did I say that right? I don't know. Now, Cuts, he is the bigger man. He probably has, what, five stone on me? He can probably pick me up with one hand. He probably can throw me over the ring into the crowd. Yes. But, there is one issue with Cuts that I have the advantage in. His speed is nothing compared to mine. And as I proved in my first ever show against King Ajo, power isn't everything. Because King Ajo just simply wasn't able to keep up with my speed. But I'm not here to gloat about that. And another issue is, there will be two other people in that ring. So cuts, while you're busy punching fortune to the ground, slamming syntax into the floor, I will be like a snake, waiting to strike. And you won't even see me coming. Now, the other two people. The next guy, he does scare me, I will say that. But for completely different reasons to cuts. He is Johnny Fortune, the man with the style. But, I, I don't know if I'm going to be wrestled by this guy or raped by this guy. Fortune, you, you do, you, I will admit... You, you do have some athleticism about you, but please, whatever you do, do not attack me from behind, because I will shit myself. And that finally brings me on to my final opponent in this match. He is the man with the big mouth, Steven Syntax. Now, Steven, back in VCW days, I, I did help train you, and I have made you what you are today. But just because I'm your teacher, do not expect me to go easy on you. And I don't want you to go easy on me either. So, let's make this a hell of a show tonight, guys. Alright? Because this is for the number one contender spot for Jay. And I'm sure we all want that title. But tonight, I guess we'll find out who really wants it more. Well, apparently... Cuts is a big bastard. Johnny Fortune raped people. And Steven Syntax is just a student of Chrysos. There is the student. And Chriso looks awfully confident making his way down to the ring. He's got the tattoo of a dragon. It's intense. It is indeed intense. 